foreground data and background data the two terms which we have heard a lot when we are talking about data usage but when talking about them we are doubtful that what does actually they convey to us so to understand about them let's get started now in this video we will talk about background data and in second part of this video we will talk about foreground data now this is done so as to understand things clearly and moreover we have already made a video about foreground data and background data in which we have learned about them side by side so if you haven't watched it you can watch it after watching the first and second part of this video or either you can watch it first and then first and second part of this video i left this thing on you but to get clear understanding my advice will be watch the full series don't skip any part and yes don't left too early so now if you have watched this video up to here then definitely you will learn something new and your time will not be wasted so finally let's move on let's firstly understand the term background background means that data which is consumed when you are not actively using the app or we can also say that background shows data which is consumed by the app when it is running in the background so if background data of a particular app is turned on then you still receive notification from that particular app when you are not actively using it for example if you are not actively using the news app social media apps study apps game apps or any other different kind of apps but still you receive notifications from them so this is because background rate of those apps is turned on now you may be thinking where you can find background data option so to find background data option for any app you just have to follow these steps so the step one is search for the app whose background data you want to turn off now the step two is long press the app icon and there you will find an option of app info now the step 3 is click on the app info and after that click on data use option and now the step 4 is there you will find the option of background data and from there you can turn it on or off so till now we have gained knowledge about what is background and where we can find it and what work does it perform and before moving further if you haven't subscribed the channel then please consider subscribing the channel as in near future there are lots of interesting videos which are ready to come and if you don't want to miss the updates then just hit the subscribe button by turning on bell icon now let's see for what kind of applications we have to turn on background data and for what kind of applications we have to turn off background data Now as we have already discussed that a background rate of particular apps is turned on we can receive notifications from such apps if we are not actively using them but can we receive notifications from such apps when background rate of those apps is turned off and we are not actively using them so it's obvious that background data is turned off and we are not actively using the app so we will not receive notifications from such apps now we should turn on background data of those apps which we need that means which are necessary for us it's because if we are not using them currently but if background data is turned on then we can get the latest updates through notifications and hence we will remain in touch of important applications whether we are actively using them or not and we should only turn off background data of those apps which are not too necessary that means if their notifications do not come then there should not be the case that we have lost something now let's move to the final topic that what is meant by restricting background data as we have talked earlier the scenario of turning off background data so these both are almost the same case so if you have watched the complete video then now you have known that the pros and cons of background data depends upon the user that means how he or she is using that feature for example for someone it can be a battery or data drainer or maybe they are facing some other issues and for someone it is a very helpful feature as they are getting their urgent piece of information in real time whether they are using that app or not now if you haven't subscribed until now then just subscribe the channel as in the next part we will talk about foreground data usage and when the video will come then you will be notified first and yes don't forget to turn on bell icon and do like and share the video and meet you very soon in the next video